Welcome back, everybody. MTG here with another episode. If you're new here, hi there. I've been taking this time while being at home to improve the work I do on my channel, but also for the future and for my career. I want to talk about five productive tech things you can learn while you're at home. So without further delay, let's dive right in. So number one is going to be coding. So if you guys don't know, most of you guys may not, uh, my major is information technology. Um, I don't plan on being a system administrator, but if that's where my career takes me, then what can you do? Anyway, I, so for information technology, I'm actually uh, thinking and I'm really interested in becoming like a software developer or programmer. And for this, you kind of need to learn about coding and that's a part of IT as well. You have to learn about coding. And specifically for me right now, I'm starting the basics. So for me, I'm starting Java uh, and I'm actually taking Java at school. Schools are closed, online courses. But then again, uh, this is kind of a go at your own pace. Um, there are a lot of tutorials, a lot of help online that can teach you without, even if your classes are canceled and you don't have any online classes, you can still learn how to code and the basics of Java. Now for me, I found this one, actually a fellow friend of mine in my class in Java, he showed me a YouTuber, awesome, awesome content he puts out there. He puts Java basics, Java intermediate. I'll leave his link in the description down below. His name is Alex Lee. Definitely recommend watching his videos, taking a look at him. He talks about the basics and then he goes on in depth about each single topic and it just clears everything up so if i don't understand something in class i'm like hey i'll just watch alex's video and everything will clear up and it's straightforward uh he talks straight to the point it's very useful like if there's something i don't understand in class first thing i do is open up a video of alex and that topic so the topic as of this recording that i am learning in class is arrays which means i'm definitely going to be watching alex's videos about arrays in java now, why am I telling you guys about this as, as being productive? Well, there are some out there that want to learn how to code or want to learn how to create a website or an application. A lot of people are like, oh, let me create an app and sell that and make lots of money. And a lot of people reference that to Flappy Birds, which came out in like 2014. I was way back in high school. Now, a lot of people reference that. They're like, oh, I want to learn how to code and create a game and make loads and loads of money. Well, it's not that easy. If you want to learn how to code on your own, it does take some time. It doesn't mean it's impossible, but you just got to put more effort. Now, since we're more often at home nowadays, why not sit down and actually learn how to code? The great thing is, for me, when I first started, I'm like, dude, this is super hard. I don't know if I can do this, but... As you begin to write out programs, or as, for a like class example, um, we have to write a specific programs for that subject. When we get the solution that we want or the outcome, I get super happy. I get super pumped. I'm like, hey, I just got the outcome I wanted. This is pretty cool. I'm going to learn how to code even more. I'm going to learn even more about what this topic is talking about. It get, it's super exciting when you get to see the outcome that you want in your program. You're like, hey, I was able to program this and I got the outcome that I wanted. It's a super cool feeling. Definitely would recommend uh, if you're interested in coding and hey, maybe on in the future you might take coding and you might make it your major. You might make your major into computer science later on. Or if you're thinking about majors right now, you might want to do computer science or IT. You want to be a developer or a programmer. This is a great start. You don't need to start just because you're going to major in it. You can start for fun. It's super fun. Definitely recommend it. Number two is photo editing. Now, the five productive tech things that I'm going to talk about mainly do apply to myself as well. Things that I can learn, but I should also learn at home now that I'm home more often, obviously. Photo editing is a huge thing. Why? Well, for me, thumbnails and just for photos in general, I got to improve on like for saturation, contrast, whatever it is, just like the general stuff. But then you can go into detail like Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop. I have that on my computer, but I don't know how to use it. And that was a thing that I was very worried about during school. I'm like, hey, I already got school. I got classes. I got other things outside of work and school. I don't know how I'm going to sit down and just study, literally study 
Adobe Photoshop and how to use it. It's not as easy as I thought it would be. It's pretty complicated. I tried, it took me a pretty long time just to take a photo of my phone, just crop out the phone and have that, and no background at all, just the phone itself. It took me a while. It might seem like an easy thing to do, but it's pretty tough. Uh, after looking up, it took me like maybe 45 minutes. Um, it was pretty tough. But I am insistent that I'm going to sit down and watch more tutorials on Adobe Photoshop now that I have at least a little bit more free time. And if you're interested in photography and you love taking photographs and you want to play around a little bit with more with the photos, then I would definitely recommend checking out Adobe Photoshop. And if you don't have that, Adobe Lightroom. If you're going to edit from your phone, Adobe Lightroom is probably going to be the best. You can use like Snapseed from Google. But if you're going to do it in your computer, maybe Adobe Photoshop uh, might be the better option. Yes, you can get Lightroom on your computer as well. But those would be my top two picks when editing. The internet is full of amazing things. They got a bunch of tutorials. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Um, I just subscribed to a channel called Adobe Creative Cloud. There are a couple other uh, great YouTubers that talk about Adobe. Uh, the Adobe Suite, Adobe Photoshop, and Lightroom. But if you're definitely interested in photography and you want to learn how to edit more, then these two applications as well as the internet is the best thing to help you out with. Number three. Okay. Number three is video recording. Oh, okay. That, that makes sense. Well, for, for me at least. I mean, I make videos, right? So video recording. I still have to learn. There's a lot to learn. With each and every video that I put out, I learn something new. I learn my flaws. I learn, hey, this was pretty cool. I implemented in this video. I'm going to do it in the next one. Hey, I got a great idea. I'm going to do this in my next video. It's amazing that when you're at home, you have so much more time to sit down and think about what you want to do in each and every one of your videos. Now, there are people that said, hey, I'm never home or I don't have time and because of school or because of work and I just can't make videos, but I want to make videos on YouTube. I want to talk about this or talk about that. Well, now this is the time. Maybe you're off from school. You're off from work. You have that extra time. Sit down and start recording videos. Sit down and start just talking to the camera. You don't even need to make any B-roll. Just sit down and start talking to the camera. And you don't, and I went on in countless videos, you don't need a DSLR, you don't need a $2,000 camera, you don't need a red camera like other YouTubers, you just need the camera for your smart, from your smartphone. Pretty much whatever smartphone you have, start with that camera. That's how I started my YouTube channel. That's how I started making videos, with my own smartphone. Now, it's been maybe 10 months since I got a DSLR. There has been a small improvement I'm still learning how to use my camera and that's the great thing. With video recording, you get to learn something new every time you create something. So don't don't try to go out there and buy like a $2,000 camera. You don't need it. If you have an i especially if you have an iPhone, that is a perfect way to start. They got amazing video recording, they got amazing audio. What else? You can't go wrong with starting a channel with just an iPhone. Right now is no better time, or if you're watching this later on in the future, if you're at home and you just have nothing else to do, just sit down and start recording videos. If you want to talk about tech like I do, go right ahead. If you want to talk about you know, vintage or collectibles, go ahead, talk about that. If you want to talk about cars, go ahead, talk about it. Make videos about it. This is the perfect time to learn about video recording, to just start something new. And maybe you never know, that might turn into your career later on in the future. Number four is going to be something with like freelance or Amazon affiliate. I'm going to be talking more about Amazon affiliate just because there are a bunch of people asking me, how do you do this? How do you get Amazon affiliate links? It's, it's quite simple. Um, so... Me being a YouTuber, pretty much with me, if I talk about a product, I'll leave the link um, in the description below about like a certain product. So if I talk about like an iPad, for example, then I'll leave an Amazon link, uh, an affiliate link. So pretty much you have to create an Amazon Associates account, uh, create your own link of that product, then just have people click on that. And then if they order, you get a small, um, it changes from product to product, like a small conversion. Um, percentage from that product's price so 
let's say I'm throwing it out there, like a $380 smartphone, I'll get maybe like 14, 15 bucks from that. That's, that's not bad at all. So if you get like a bunch of those smartphones all out at once, that's a pretty good pay. Now, some people are confused on how to do this. Well, if you're making videos about YouTube, making videos about tech, then you're going to make links about tech and have those in the description of your video. If you're making videos about fashion or shoes or whatever it is, then you leave those links in the description down below in your video. Now, not just Amazon affiliate links. Yes, those are a huge plus uh, if you want to just get some small income without really doing anything too much or putting in too much effort. But if you're looking for something um, like being a news writer, um, there are some openings for me. I'm always looking up reports or articles about tech. Uh, there are some openings. If you go to, for example, Phone Arena, at the time it's recording, they have an opening and now hiring for um, a news writer. If you're interested in that, now's your time. Um, you're going to be at home anyway, writing from your computer, right? This is a perfect time to take that opportunity. Um, definitely, if you're interested in writing news articles in general, uh, perfect time to do that as well. Number five is a website. Okay, so this is, it's easy, but it can be pretty tough. Now, website is, it's going to represent your brand, represent what your your voices what your story of what you're going to be talking about is so it does take a lot of time and dedication you can use websites to create your own like wix um and i probably for myself at least start that route too if i were to create a website i tried to do one in high school i don't know why i needed one at the time but it's whatever so if you're going to start a website you can go the easy route and start by using wix or other websites to create your own website or you can just purchase domains too that that's fine but if you want to go a little more in detail then you can learn the coding route and kind of create your own website that way that's going to take a lot more time so my personal preference and my personal recommendation would be start off by using something like wix to create um, your own website um, using their platform using um, their tools now the hard thing here when creating a website like i said it's going to represent your voice and what you want to rep you want to talk about so you gotta put a lot of time and dedication about like the artwork about your vision about the words you're going to use on your website um the photographs the videos whatever it is that's where it takes a lot of time and effort but being at home means or in my case well it does mean for me i have a little bit more time for most people it does mean you're going to you're going to have more time so take this opportunity to sit down and brainstorm hey i want this this and this on my website and start creating your website there is no better time i know that for a fact when everybody um, starts to go back to work and everyone starts their normal life and if you're watching this in the future you'll probably understand if once other people start to get back to their normal their normal life and their normal way of living then you're going to be like hey i had so much time when i was back home i wish i could have done this i wish i could have done that so don't say i wish in the future don't say i wish just do it now that's probably at the end of this video going to be my my best number one recommendation don't say i'll do it later i'll have more time in the future you won't you never know what's going to happen do it now before it's too late. Anyway, everybody, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to superman that like button. Comment down below because with the more interactions we get on this video, not only helps the video and the channel, but also pushes the video out to more viewers. And best of all, superman that subscribe button. Until next time, everybody, and until next video, this is MTG.